In this video, I'm going to tell you what is high blood pressure. Did you know that some high blood pressure numbers recently changed? And there are actually two different high blood pressure ranges. Welcome to my channel. For more blood pressure videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. First, let's define high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. High blood pressure is when your blood pressure, which is the force of your blood pushing against your blood vessel walls, is consistently too high. High blood pressure is often called the silent killer because you usually don't know that you have it. There are normally no symptoms or signs, but it can cause major health issues for you. Because of this, it's extremely important to monitor your blood pressure, especially if it's been high in the past or there's a family history. The best way to diagnose high blood pressure is to have your blood pressure measured. Blood pressure can be measured by your doctor at a local pharmacy, or you can buy a blood pressure monitor and check it yourself at home. If you're interested in buying a home monitor, I included a link for you down below. Also, I'm interested in knowing if you are ready to monitor your blood pressure at home. Please leave a comment below and let me know. Blood pressure is recorded in two ways, resulting in two numbers, the higher number and the lower number. The first number or higher number is your systolic blood pressure. This number indicates how much pressure your blood is exerting against your artery walls when the heart beats, pumping blood out. The second number or lower number is your diastolic blood pressure. This number indicates how much pressure your blood is exerting against your artery walls while the heart is resting between beats, refilling with blood. So what numbers and ranges are needed for high blood pressure? The first high blood pressure range is stage 1. This range has a systolic number from 130 to 139 or a diastolic number from 80 to 90. In this range, doctors are likely to suggest lifestyle changes and may consider medication based on your risk of cardiovascular disease. The second high blood pressure range is stage 2. The systolic numbers range from 140 or higher and the diastolic numbers from 90 or higher. In this range, doctors are likely to prescribe a combination of lifestyle changes and medication. Lifestyle changes usually include cutting back on any bad habits, such as too much alcohol or drug abuse, starting some form of physical exercise or activity that will keep you active for about 20 to 30 minutes a day, or a change in your diet, including more fruits and vegetables, potassium, and magnesium. If you found value in this video, click the thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe here. Thanks to all, and I'll see you in the next video.